this is again a really important question and i know like most of us we run like whoever who start his linux journey we have executed a bunch of command on our linux system or uh, to be precise on our bash shell but how many of us thinks like what happened behind the scene when we run this cat etc password command or not cat etc it is password command even if we executed the ls command what exactly happened behind the scene or any command which you are running so again i will pause here for a second and i will give you guys few second to think about it what do you think happen behind the scene when you are executing any command in linux so i will start with let's say i am in the bash interpreter what do you think if you look at this command what do you think what is happening behind the scene so if i am seeing this cat etc password command or what exactly i am seeing that you and i are thinking in the right direction but you are thinking where yeah check either this is directory or folder permissions folder directory folder is this you want to no okay so let me start here here i am seeing two things one is the cat command and second one is the argument which is passed to a command i am not thinking about where i am going where exactly i am trying to do a system call i am seeing two things here one is the command and one is the the argument which is passed to a command okay now i figured it out okay i have two things here what will be the first step now we can start with all these things which you guys are talking about so what should be the first step okay let's start with the cat command if i need to read this cat command to read this particular etc password file or it can be any file etc host etc shadow what is the first thing it need to do so basically in in your path variable it is going to see where exactly this cat command is right and that is how the utility like which will help you to locate the path because this user bin is the path is the location where it will start searching for this particular binary so that is how if you create a new program and if it's not there in the path you need to define that particular path i mean most of you you have done this command right export and then let's say your binary home p lakhera h a b c colon dollar path right to add that particular binary in the path of this particular because these are the default location where your shell looks for the particular command okay so okay we have seen that okay we have break this into two parts one is the cat command one is the etc password now we look for the cat command in that path variable uh and because this is a valid command it find out that particular command in the path variable what will be the next step think of this like a simple command like a cat command uh what do you think so the next step is we have seen that this command is located in this location so Correct. what it need to do it need to load that file from your disk to a ram okay basically it to a lot of system call for that so there is something called fork and exec but let's not go about like how it does so now it has load the file from disk to a ram so cat is now present in the memory okay what next so now we have the file in the mem uh, this cat command in the memory now we can move to the other part which is etc password what do you guys think what will be the next step so it will check the permission if the particular user who is executing this file have the permission to load this file into a memory okay and if it's not there is exit code called called minus 1 if that exit code comes as a minus 1 that means that user have don't have a permission otherwise if the user has the permission it will read the file okay basically it, it's issues a read system call it will display the content to the file then it will execute something called a oh, what's the name of that call exit system call so this cat command issues the exit system call and the parent process which is the bash 
it executes something called a wait system call. And the reason for the wait, because whatever the resources which has been allocated to this cat command. So this was a PPID, which is a parent process ID, and this is a PID, which is the ID which has been formed. So whatever the resource which has been allocated to this PID, uh, to this cat etc password command, those resources need to be delocated so that the new process can get those resources, right? So whatever the resource, I mean, MEM, CPU, all those IO, those will be cleaned it out, right? And finally, when all these things will be done, the, uh, the transfer of the this whole thing will return back to the passion, okay? And that is where you have seen this during this wait system called something called zombie process. That is how the zombie process got created. So your process got exit, okay? And it is waiting for the kernel to, uh, to clean up all the resources. But the PID of this process never got cleaned up. And it can be a n number of reasons. We can talk about it later. But this is a common misconception for every process during this when it executes this exit system call. And by the moment when uh, kernel is cleaning up or this bash shell is cleaning up all the resources, there is a slight movement when the process becomes a zombie because it needs to clean all the resources which has been allocated to a particular process. Okay. If I confused you, just forget about this zombie. So basically, it executes exit and during the wait, it is cleaning up all the resources which is allocated to this particular process. And once that has been done, the uh, the whole of the uh, command will return back to the shell or the execution returned back to a shell. Okay, so let me summarize it one more time. You open your bash shell, you executed the cat command, this cat to read any file. And same thing happen if you try to execute, for example, the ls command, right? So for ls, it is just going to look for the path it will load the binary and execute it and all those things if it has a permission and everything, right? And all the steps will be the same. 